Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Witchwood. Welcome back. I hope you're all, as usual, fed, watered, rested, you name it. Hope you got it. Hope you're having a good time zone. Where we last left off, we finished the first four souls that we had to collect, right? So we we gave those over to the to the wonderful little little goat. Um, give me a second here. I'm just gonna ever so slightly adjust the volume. There we go, lovely. We just um, we just spoke to the goat. We gave over those souls. I'm just gonna double check in in this room just to check there's nothing new about the maiden just to check there's nothing new about the maiden uh the maiden at all nothing so there's obviously the four souls input here behind her and we have eight eight more to go so we're about a third of the way through as we can expect and we need to go and get the cat, the rat, the fish, and the ram souls. So much more, much, much more is to come. Let me just uh, see if we can talk to this goat at all. To the east, that is where you'll find the souls we seek. Okay. So again, we must assume that we can um, just exit through this portal. And there will be new portals for us to have a look into. So we know this one. We know that one and we know that one. Are any of these now open? To the east. Where does this one go? To the swamp? Should we? I mean, this this is this would be the direction of east over here. I'm not sure how we get there. Do we have a map? We do have a map. Shadowed way. This way takes us to the forest. This way takes us up to the village. And that is, I believe, the way that we have to go. So let's let's get on that, shall we? Um <laughs> I'm just gonna take a couple things as we go, you know. <laughs> it's important that we, we get some of these things like that because inevitably we're going to have to make some more containers for liquids um, and we're going to have to make some more things that will create other things and so on and so forth so let's continue up to the village hopefully we'll unlock a new portal and we're going to try and get some more of the story's threads ooh Cobblestone, lovely. We're gonna try and get some more of the story's threads to see all the stuff that we need to gather at any given point, I think. Lovely. Sheepdog. This anxious little dog attempts frantically to get a town's guard's attention as they stand watch in front of the smoking ruins of a burned down shop. Please, you have to listen to me. My friend is missing. The guard stifles a yawn, annoyed at having to work. Oh yeah? And what's your friend look like? The sleeves of the sheepdog's oversized sweater flail about comically. She's about yay tall, wears a green vest, has black wool. So she's one of them sheep, huh? Probably just got lost, you know? Them types ain't too bright. She didn't get lost, she's gone missing. Her wool shop was burnt down on purpose, can't you smell it in the air? Calm down, sir. We're investigating the situation. But I'm sure this fire was a simple accident. I bet your friend just left a kettle on or something. Why don't you check with the ram into town square? If anyone knows where a lost sheep is, it's probably him. How can you say that? Everyone knows the ram hates the black sheep. Look at all these footprints. I bet his goons had something to do with this. Listen, you're starting to get on my nerves. Just leave this to the professionals, all right? He turns away from the dog and goes back to doing absolutely nothing. Professionals indeed. They couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. I better look into this funny business myself. The ram. Okay, so we're looking for the lost black sheep. They had a wool shop. It's all broken down. 
that hot-headed ram is behind this somehow. And that ram runs by the sounds of it. That ram runs the, the inn. Or the pub or something like that. Listen, go away. I just want the coals. Please just give me the coals. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Ow. That was rude. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, there are mimics? Oh, no. Well, that's horrific. Uh, I will also take these, and I will take this rodent lard. Thank you. Um, so, question the ram in the village square. Where is the ram in this village square? Real quick, what do I need to get this? We need a snap trap. Am I supposed to take something from the villagers if I can interact with them in that way? <gasps> a kitty cat? Disinterested in the lowly affairs of humans. If we give them a cat treat, something happens maybe? Um, I will always take extra pots. Yes, thank you. Wicker work is great as well. And an iron nail is probably useful for something soon, I imagine. Oh, it's snowing that way. Hi, kitty. This cat deserves a treat. If I can find the stuff to make you a cat treat, it's yours, honey bun. Ooh. Oh, this will be the, the portal, of course. At first glance, this looks like a neglected shack, long ago fallen into disrepair. But your canny gaze reveals its construction to go beyond the ravages of time, standing overlooked yet constant until properly disrupted. Disrupted. <laughs> Running your nail along the grain of one of the nailed-up boards proves to be. Oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot. I can never talk. Proves to be just the disruption it was waiting for. Ha. <sighs> You know what? I'm not sorry. You're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to if you want. Yeah, I mean, you do not. You absolutely do not. Mmm, that's a woolen scarf. That makes me think, this is the inn, yes, where the ram is. So let's, can I go in? I'm not allowed to go in? No? Oh, I can, I can pick their pockets. Well, that seems a bit... morally, you know, unfair for me to do anything like that. Um, we got some flower petals over here, lovely. We got another little kitty. What else have we around here? Well, that's a very big building. We got some little, uh, Some dudes here with some jingly shoes. Uh, ooh, okay. And then what's this? It looks like a lot of young ladies have gone missing by the, the looks of things. Ram. Listen closely, brothers and sisters, we must wear our wool proudly and show the world that plain is best. That's right, plain wool is the best wool. All of these outlandish colours and head-splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. And as we all know, individuals are weak, only the united are strong. Together, we speak louder than a single voice. Wait, are all the colours bad then? What about grey? It's almost plain white. Grey is forbidden! Grey is a gateway to blue! And where there's blue, green isn't far behind. And then what's next? Yellow? Purple? Even red? Oh no! Anything but red, no! Always remember, colours lead to discord, to chaos. And with chaos, the wolves will come for us all! Aye, not the wolves! Watch out! There's one right there! The nearest sheep nearly jumps out of its fleece when it notices you. 
I'm not a wolf, you halfwits. Maybe not, but you're different, and that's just as bad. Uh, right, boss? That's right. So what is an outsider wanting with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lot would have room in your heads for any more ideals, but no. I'm here looking for the black sheep. It seems her shop was burnt down last night. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? <laughs> that bothersome black sheep is a thorn in my side. Never heeds my warnings, always goes against what's good and proper. But, I assure you, I was tending to my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. That little sheep dog begs to differ. He says you're always headed out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with your prattling. Lies and slander. You have no proof of any wrongdoing. For all we know, she may have just left the kettle on. As the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash, leaving black marks on the cobblestone of the village square. Proof, eh? Looks to me like some of your flock have sooty feet. I wonder where this suspicious trail will lead. Okay, so there's... There's like ashy leavings. Okay. And I need to make some unveiling powder so that we can find out what's going on there. Um, okay, let's do that. You sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestones to reveal hidden footprints, still blackened by the ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from the town square last night. Okay. And so the footprints we will follow. And we are not we are not getting anything else stolen from us. Okay, so we've got a okay, well. It appears we must make some more unveiling this. So I'm just gonna make a couple there. And then we'll do that. A struggle must have occurred here. You find the remnants of a torn burlap sack and some scattered fistfuls of wool. The footprints leading away look to be moving at great speed, like someone was being chased. Hmm. What did they do to this poor black sheep? It can't help the way that it exists. <laughs> okay. A pair of lone footprints stuck into this vegetable garden. You notice some more footprints searching in confused directions farther afield. The black sheep must have been trying to hide from her pursuers. Maybe she managed to throw them off her trail. Okay, and then this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. After following the ashen trail through the back streets, you come to a dead end. Your only company is a stone gargoyle squatting up atop a building corner. You stand on your tiptoes to examine the great carved demon closer, noticing the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm, what a fine garment. I could do with a new one, it's starting to get chilly. I just hope it hasn't got any of that bird poo on it. As you reach up to unwrap the scarf, the gargoyle's eyes, eyes swivel in their sockets with a sound like two grinding millstones. Well, excuse me, I'm quite fond of this avian excrement, actually. It adds a touch of authenticity to the whole ensemble, don't you think? Oh, I, I beg your pardon, I didn't realise I was speaking to a watcher. <laughs> a watcher? Why is it no one ever comes to watch me? I'm handcrafted from the finest block of artisanal granite, so masterfully chiselled that I came to life. Nothing on this earth or beyond has a greater claim to beauty than I. And yet, day after day, I sit up here, and no one gives me so much as a passing glance. Well, maybe if you cleaned up once in a while. Oh, hush. I don't need to take fashion tips from you. And besides, you only looked up at me because of this fabulous scarf. Admit it. I was merely following the trail of sooty footprints, but now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine knit to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? 
Why, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram, always ringing that gaudy bell of his and poo-pooing everyone else's fun. This world is alive and needs a good splash of colour once in a while. Here, here to that, gargoyle. You know where the black sheep is, then? Now hold on, how do I know you aren't another agent of banality like the ram? Just look at that skirt, so last century. You'll have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now, I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. But <laughs> those clogs aren't fit for a horse, no. I've got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and definitely to die for. Plus, I could do with a nice hat to go with my fetching scarf and maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around idle. Okay, so we need a gnome hat, a sewing kit, and elf shoes. Three elf shoes, apparently. Why do you need three? <laughs> Why? You have two feet. Okay, well. We can absolutely get these things. Um, we've, we've seen some jingle-footed elves walking around, right? And we need a shiny lure for that. So what do we need to make a shiny lure? Um... I need more fireflies, that's fine. We can make some more of those. Ooh, what is this? Wicked gemstone. I'm assuming something that we need requires that gemstone or something. Maybe. I would think. I don't know why we have it as an option. Metamorphosis elixir. I wonder if we take that, if we can become something that that big ogre thing would like down in the in the swamp area. Maybe. Uh, so we need some more ingredients for that, and that's that's fine, you know. That's absolutely fine. We can we can work with that. Let me have a look at the map here a second. What have we got over here? So it does connect back to the forest as well, that's very nice. To smell a rat in the graveyard beyond the dead are without rest. Uh, so we do want to go to the graveyard, we want to get... Oh, you know what, we should go to the, the fish area so we can give treats to these cats, because I'm assuming these cats will give us something that we need, probably. Um... So let's go find out what else we might need. Let's follow along these paths. We might be able to pick some stuff up along the way, you know. Um, and we'll take it from there. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> A skeleton key. Ugh! Oh, okay. I got a coin and some stuff. A mimic's toe. Well, that was awesome. I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, but now I need... Can I make skeleton keys? Yes, I can. What do we need? Nails, some sort of weird face head, grave bones, and mummified heads. Got it. Yeah. Why are there mimics everywhere? No! The ram shows us a simpler way. Yeah, simpler is, is definitely the word there. Ooh, a conveniently placed basket. A great offering of produce sits before this effigy, but you glimpse a single telltale marker secreted into one of the baskets. A quick tug and the illusion is dispelled. A crack in the foundation. Ah! We'll go back to the market. Hmm. 
you elbow your way to the front of a crowd that has gathered to observe a three-way shouting match. A trio of merchants are yelling wildly at each other. You treacherous fiend! I know it was you that snuck into my shop and put mealworms in my bread. Worms? Do you think I have time to traipse about your silly little bakery? I have to make sure you stay out of my smithy. Firecrackers in my coal, I could have lost an eye. Ha! And you would have deserved it, you traitor. I know you ruined a whole batch of my candles with that sulphur stunt. Now my store smells like a mule's behind. The men launch themselves at one another, first a uh, fist swinging in the whirling melee. Off in the shadows, you catch a stealthy figure watching the chaos with a delighted grin. <laughs> dance, dance, how the idiots prance. With a flick of her tail, the feline disappears through the maze of market stalls. What's all this commotion about? A dull, monotonous voice drones out across the square in reply. You don't even know the worst of it. Aww. It's a sad little unicorn. Look, it's, it's poor little horn is like... Flaccid. Oh no. Hitched to a post, this tragic creature raises its tear-filled eyes at you. Despite its depressing appearance, you find yourself somehow feeling lighter. What on earth is a rainbow spirit doing in the midst of a market brawl? I thought your kind thrived on love and sunshine and all that kind of sappy drivel. Oh sure, normally this market's a wonderful place to be, but lately it's been nothing but misery and unrest. Just look around. All I see are three brats puffing out their chests and barking like mutts. Surely a hot meal and a good night's rest will cool their heads? I'm afraid it goes deeper than that. You see all sorts of awful things have been happening. Vandalism in folks' gardens, trash in the well, wagon wheels tampered with, rumours spreading like wildfire about this or that, cheats and lies. Now I'm usually the one who keeps the peace around here with my trusty magic horn, makes the truth flow and keeps folks honest. But with all this deception and treachery in the air, it's as limp as a noodle. My powers are useless. A drippy horn is no laughing matter. If you had a bit of pick-me-up, do you suppose you could get this place under control? Sure as sugar. I just need to get some of my strength back. A good snack ought to put perk you right up. A rainbow roll. I have to... To craft a rainbow roll. How do I craft a rainbow roll? What do I need? I need dough. Um, I need one of those, one of these bad boys. Uh, which I can actually make. So I'm going to make one of those. And now it's just dough that I need. And what do I need for dough? I've got the eggs, I've got the things, I just need some um, milk. Do I have the stuff to make more of you? No, I need more clay. Okay. Market merchant. The merchant's eyebrows raise at your approach, but he remains generally cordial. Fresh fish for gold. I'll give you a gold coin, friend. He offers up a neatly filleted fish. I will take my fish, thank you. Now I have a fish. You know? Ooh, some nails. Okay, so we need to find some dirt on the ground so that I can go and fetch some moo juice. Unless I can buy some moo juice. <gasps> what is this? I need that. I need to deal with that goose first. Okay. How do I deal with the goose? Perhaps the nastiest of birds and we don't know how to get rid of the goose. Okay. Among this merchant's wares you spy a stack of jars that might be of use. Oh god, please. The merchant eyes you su suspiciously but takes your money. Thank you for the jar. Okay, so I can just buy stuff. That's, that's, that's nice and easy if I'm honest. So now I just need to find the moo, and we're good to go. We'll um, we'll go back to the to the fields. Grab ourselves some moo juice, make the dough, 
and get this unicorn a nice little snack. Little rainbow roll. Whilst we're here, we might as well um, get some get some of the stuff that we can that we can take from here. Right. Um, so now I should be able to make this. Yes. Thank you. We may as well just steal some of this stuff. I say steal. It's not particularly stealing, is it? Get some eggs, because why not? And then I'm pretty sure this, this will produce some clay, yeah. And then... Get a hopper leg. Lovely. Oh, do you know what we need? We need to go get some fireflies. We'll go do that as well. Um, oh, how do I deal with you? A puzzle box. Because I need a gnome hat. So let's see if we can make a puzzle box. That seems like fun. Uh, here it is. Oh, what is that? I need to get to the docks so we can get a seashell. And that's how I deal with you. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That is some good info. I'm just going to get as much clay as I can. May as well get some more hopper legs, because why not? And I'm going to get another one of you, because I used one of your things. Um, let's go back. Get this unicorn a nice rainbow roll. Unicorn, a good snack ought to pork you right up. Here is your rainbow roll, friend. The miserable creature dips its snout to in investigate your tasty dessert. Is is this for me? It troubles me to see a benevolent beast afflicted by such melancholy. And the quicker that horn of your works, the quicker we can sort out this mess. Throwing back its head, the unicorn swallows the odd confection without even chewing. The spots on its back glow are soft lavender and its hooved feet levitate off the ground for just a moment. From above, a thin slither of light, uh, of sunlight breaks through the clouds and sparks off the unicorn's head, momentarily blinding you in a dazzling flash. When you look back, the unicorn is happily wagging its tail at you, its horn looking reinvigorated with a pearlescent sheen. Ah! That hit the spot. Looks like the old truth detector is working again. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast those fools! The unicorn lowers its horn and takes aim at the feuding shopkeepers. A long moment passes as the unicorn's body quivers with anticipation. Um, wait, I, I swear this never happens. My powers are all charged up, but none of them are actually lying. So they really did sabotage each other's businesses then? My horn will only be able to blast the lies out of someone who's truly false. As far as they know, they're each other, they're, they're each telling the truth. Hmm. Which means someone else must be responsible for this mess. The feuding shopkeepers run out of insults to hurl at each other and all storm back to their businesses in a huff. I'll go investigate the scenes of the crimes at their shops. Maybe I can turn up some clues. Okay, well at least you've got a slightly happier unicorn now, although you wouldn't be able to tell based on the, the look of him. Still don't know how to deal with this goose. And uh, no one's gonna tell me, but damn do I want that egg. <laughs> I need that egg. Okay. Oh, thank God you're here. You're so much closer, that's so, that's so handy. Uh, I can't go this way yet, no? But we, uh, we have this person. Workers only. Scram. Rude. I'm not sure if I want to pluck the pockets of any of, <laughs> of any of these people. That seems mightily rude. Um, ooh. Let's go in the bakery and have a little look around. Ugh. 
oafish blacksmith just grinds my gears. I ought to give him a smack on the brow next time I see him. Uh, Master Baker, please, settle down. You've been tricked. Ha! I very much doubt that. Only a fool would believe that story without any evidence. Fine. You want evidence? I'll get you some. The true criminal must have left Cruz around here somewhere. Well, have you got any evidence yet? I need a cat's confession. Got it. But can I steal from the... Oh, I can. <gasps> Moo juice, an egg and some dough. That's... Oh, that's excellent. Thank you so much, sir. Nothing out of the ordinary. Conspicuous urn. This strange vase doesn't look like it belongs in a bakery. And there's still some bugs and dirt inside. An inscription on the side reads, Harold Grimes, 17XX, 17XX. Hanged under the old grave tree for crimes he never committed. Okay. What does that mean? Um, can I have a look at any of the rest of this stuff? No? Is that it? I think that's it. It was just those two things, yeah. Okay, so let's skedaddle. And then we need to find the other two businesses. So we're looking for a blacksmith and a candle maker. Um, are they going to be buildings as well? I would assume that they would also be buildings, no? I could be wrong though. I could be, yeah, I could be wrong. To the village. I'll go back to the village. Let's go south uh, to the graveyard and see what we can find there as well. Oh, this is... no? Nothing. <laughs> what it is, is, is nothing. Dig these up. Why not? Go away. Ah! Stop that, you meanie. So rude. So, so rude. Right, how do I go south? I could collect some water with a jar, that's fine. Is that an evil cat? Black cat, not an evil cat, a black cat. Black cats are lovely. Uh, Seepervine and toxic thistle, lovely. So yes, let's go, let's go south in hopes that we find the graveyard, perfect. We do need to get some fireflies from the forest soon. Whoa. Little speedster there. Hello. Great keeper. Sorry, ma'am, but I must warn you that the graveyard's not safe right now. If you got flowers, I can go lay them at a grave if you want. <sighs> when I croak, nobody better bring me posies. What's the matter? Uh, something's got the spirits of this place riled up in a real bad way. All restless and cranky, they is. There's this horrible howling coming from the mansion up the road. A scream that would chill the bumps right off your goose. Every time I gather up my wits to take a look-see, my knees turn to jelly soon as I set foot on the path. Mark my words, that creepy old place is haunted by something more than just a sleepless spirit. Ugh. Ghost stories are for children. When you get to be my age, it takes something special to put the fright in you. Well, if you're so sure about that, could you go up there and tell me what you see? Maybe it's something to do with what's got all these ghosts so agitated. The rat. Okay. Oh, we got an old graveyard dog. Um, so we can collect water that way. We got some some ghostly grasps, some little ghosty. Ooh, whatever this is, a black rose. And this is how we get the bones as well. That's interesting. Oh, and that's the ghost. So we can talk to this dude, and he might know something about evidence on the cat. I hope. Mandrake root, interesting. Can I speak to you, friend? The crooked fellow peers down at you. It's as if you're someone else to, uh, coming to make fun of this eternal predicament. You spot a piece of paper floating inside his translucent body. What you got there? Don't suppose I could convince you to cough up that paper, can I? 
Um, what do I need to do? Spirit salts. I could probably make spirit salts. Probably have the stuff to make the spirit salts, no? Wouldn't you know it, I do. <laughs> You sprinkle the exercising salts onto the ghost. He sputters and sneezes up the paper suspended inside his head before going back to swinging as if nothing had happened. Looks like a page of someone's diary. My best plan yet. These grave bugs will make the baker's buns taste like embalmed eclairs. I'll just dump the dirt out in this stupid urn to carry them. This should be proof enough to convince the baker who the real culprit was. I will take the cat's confession, thank you. Okay, so we can deal with these things individually, but these floating heads, we can stop with spirit salt. So um, let's see if we can't make any more. I need to make some of this. Um, can I make one of these? I'm gonna make a couple spirit salts um, and I'm gonna use one for this but we need some soporific potion and I need I need some water for that so I need one of these may, may as well make as many as we can right um, And now I have a mummified head. Bosh. <laughs> Macabre shrine. When one might expect the door to a mausoleum, here instead stands a shrine, adorned heavily with skulls, perhaps to deter closer inspection. But their arrangement does not serve the dead, nor their memory, instead being placed to mask a path beyond. Your knowing fingers reduce it to dust with a tap. Awesome, so now we can get here nice and swiftly. I'm gonna take one of these, thank you. Um, I just need a place to get some water, honestly. If there could be a, a place for water around here, that would be handy dandy, you know? Is there anywhere I could get some water? Honestly, I'm just gonna get as much of this stuff as I can because why wouldn't I? It's nice and easy and right for taking. Grave digging, folks. <laughs> no, you absolutely should not be going grave digging. Just just to clarify my point on that matter. Have you heard the word of the ram? Look, I'm gonna free you all from that ram. Individuality and colour is it's all beautiful okay i can't i can't go up that way maybe there's a way around um i just saw bats should i be able to to do something about bats what do i do about you exorcism charm can i make an exorcism charm i kind of want to um where was it Necrotic charm. Where are my other? There it is. Yes. So we will need to do something about the bats. We just need to see more bats go by. I think. Somewhere. Let's take a bunch of this stuff. Just because it's it's just easy to do so. And then we'll go up and around this way, if we can. That's path to the mansion, yeah, exactly. See what um, a crow with a snap trap. We've got a little strange well, excellent. Um, so I'm just gonna, weird water. We can get weird water from here. I just wanted regular water, but I guess that's cool too. Can't do anything about that. I guess we can have a little look inside, no? Maybe there's some bats in here. Oh my, okay, this is uh, well, this is something, isn't it? 
So we don't know what to do about the hands. I can't take from any of these. Ooh. As you walk through the dilapidated estate, the temperature drops drastically. The floorboards and walls groan angrily, as if the whole building's upset at your invasion. A gust of wind suddenly rushes up the staircase, as though the house itself was drawing a breath. An ear-splitting scream stirs dust from the rafters and makes your knees weak. Oh god, that's definitely a the melody the melodious voice of a banshee. Or I'm a chicken's arm. You take a step forward, but ghostly skeletal hands rise up through the creaking floorboards. They reach out, grasping, and you feel your spirits fade as their frigid touch. You're all lucky I misplaced my spectre sickle or I cut you down like weeds. Guess I should report back to the gravekeeper anyway. Okay, so I need some sort of spectre sickle to be able to... Oh, your footfalls again conjure many gasping sp spectral hands, clutching and scratching so as to keep you from going any further. I'll need some help from the gatekeeper to calm these grabby ghosts. I can't speak today and I'm so sorry. Okay, I just wanted to get through to the chest, but that's a no. Let's go talk to uh, the gravekeeper then. That we can do. That we indeed can do. Where are you, friend? There you are. You back! It's a demon from the underworld, isn't it? Or, or maybe it's a lich come to summon up an army of darkness. Relax, it's just your run-of-the-mill banshee. A banshee? I knew it. No wonder the dead have been so angry lately. How are they supposed to get any rest with all that racket? Hmm. But a spirit only becomes a banshee when it's been terribly wronged. Who used to live in that house? I don't rightly know. It's been abandoned since before my time. Always was pretty creepy though. The place was so haunted that I couldn't get in for a better look. A good exorcism ought to clean it right up. This sort of stuff happen often? <laughs> well, just last year I had to deal with a ghoul that wouldn't stop breaking into the crypts. Darn fellow was trying to find his long lost love or something. The old man turns to rummage through the cluttered shack, looking for something. Anyways, eventually I had to call in the Grave Squad Exterminators. They got that nasty ghoul rounded up before he befell too many tombs. But they left behind this, uh... Oh, where did it get to? Ah, they gave me this to ward off any angry spirits that might be left over. He holds up a rusty looking lantern. A ghost lamp? I thought those things got recalled because of all those possessions. Huh? I never heard anything about that. Now this thing ain't powerful enough for banshees, but it should keep the lesser spirits away. He gives the lamp a shake, but only a puff of purple smoke rises off the wick. Oh, jeez. Looks like I forgot to keep it fueled up. I'll go and get the gas myself, but with the graveyard in this state. He shrugs feebly at you. You're hopeless. What does the ghost lamp need for fuel? He squints at the fading label on the back of the lantern. Let's see, yeah. Ghostly ectoplasm, bat wings, crypt crawler silk. Okay. Got it. So we need to get a bunch of things. There is much for us to get, in fact. What I need to do is get one of these summoning runes up and working. And and this exorcism charm. So we need bat wings desperately. And I need um, some soporific potion. With which, you know, I, I must get some some water with. To, to be able to craft that and that's fine so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that episode there and we will continue with this wonderful game um very shortly thank you so much for watching may you stay fed may you stay watered may you stay rested take care of yourself know that you're loved and i will see you next time goodbye my lovelies <laughs>